all right hello guys um it's been a little minute it has let me just not let me just tell the truth it's been a little minute it was bothering me not to say something about this for the past two days for today and yesterday and i feel like i should come on here and speak about it because it's something that i feel like it needs to be pointed out um yeah so uh what I want to point out first is that I feel like we are in our last days. People have been prophesying and prophesying and saying this and saying that about how the Lord been giving them visions and dreams about, you know, 666, the mark of the mark of the beast and stuff like that. And I just feel like it's really getting to that because, you know, with this vaccine stuff, they are literally like they are. They're making it seem like they're making it to where. We can't have it. Like, only certain, the people that have it can go into the stores, can go to school, can do things that the people that don't got it can't do. And I know things is going to get hacked. It is like persecution type of things that's going to happen. But that's why it's important that we all have a relationship with god and not with god and the devil at the same time that is impossible you can't do that it's either one or the other so that's why it's important that we have our own relationship with god and that we quit the things that the devil would like us to do because it's just uh you know it's just one way or the other people want me to fear this vaccine and stuff but like no i even heard somebody once call it my protection i'm like no it's not my protection. My leader of Christ taught me well. My protection is Jesus and the Father. And he's the man that I will rely on for everything that I need or everything that I feel that I need to talk to him about. The Bible talks about how we should pray for our enemies, our friends. You know, Jesus used to pray for, well, pray for his friends and stuff like that. Um... You know, prayer is good. And I agree. As, especially, you know, when, you know, some people aren't on the right path with God. But they need they need somebody to pray who has that relationship, who has a type of relationship with the Father. You know, that the Lord will respond. Like, you know, he will um, help them out because you called them up. Like because you asked you asked for the Lord to protect those or to do whatever to those who you who was that was on your heart to um you know pray for. Like I said, it's mark of the beast time. I feel like it's coming real quick. This corona, this vaccine stuff is leading to it. I know it is. It has no choice but to be because it makes sense. It just makes sense with all this craziness going on. And I just feel that uh it's time for us all to stop using others to pray when you should pray for yourself and get your line together for yourself and for others who follow you who follow behind you because of what you do whether it's good or bad um obviously if if i mean talking about the bad the people that are not uh, uh, they're not doing their godly assignment or the people that have held back from the Lord, or, you know, just people who fell. They need to get back up. Um, and I get some people can't. It's their time just too late. They went too far after experiencing the Lord. Good things of the Lord. But I'm just speaking to those who have fell off that still have a chance. This is how I feel. Because it's the people that want you like listen i'm i i will pray for whoever needs to be, be, be prayed on uh you know but when people play with it it's just not like no this is not nothing to play with like when, when somebody played with it like this is what i call playing with it playing with it to me is like when that's how the situation comes up right people aren't um people aren't in line with god people aren't on the right side of god just how they make fun of your name a little bit as far as saying oh you got the lord on your side all you gotta do is just pray about it um and it could be something simple like just just food or going to a restaurant to eat or something just very simple like that or even like this 
uh, let's say somebody come in, hey girl, oh hey girl, yes, I need to use your room real quick, I gotta get ready to go to the club tonight, this is the top and the third, but, um, oh yeah, um, they, they, they start cursing and stuff like that and doing the extras, and they're like, oh, oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry about that, just, just pray for me. Come on now, like, really? You gotta come in my room and, and get dressed for something that just isn't of God and then on top of that you want to cuss in that top and the, this that top and the third and then you and then and then must say oh I'm sorry like that's what I feel like you plan you plan because you say you want to be you want me to pray for you but sometimes it's more than just prayer that you need to get that 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 um can help a thing even when they say whenever they come in you know they you know let's say if I'm going to somebody's house right and and I'm with people that aren't really you know on the right path to God, you know, and uh, they say, Oh, yeah, you gotta excuse her for a little bit, you gotta excuse her because she's all she's too Christian for us, or whatever. Like, I'm the same person, the only difference is that I am following a different master from you. You're making fun that I'm a I'm a, a true believer in Christ for what? Like, come on out, and then on top of that, you want to ask for my prayers. And then still go out and do what you want to do. I don't know, but I will be scared to do all that if I knew God for real. I don't know. Y'all people are, these people are bold for real. Oh my God. Bold and wickedness. That's, that's crazy. People just play and it's just not good to play for the, play with the Lord. Because a person is righteous and then the other person is not so righteous. They will most likely come to that righteous person to ask them, <clears throat> ask them to pray for them, which is not a problem at all. But it gets to the point where we have to learn how to pray for our own selves and our people's our own people like you know what i'm saying because you can't keep coming to to the righteous from the wicked and and asking for prayer you can but like it gets to the point where it's just too much now you just want to use me for my prayer life because whatever i pray for i know the, my lord my god will answer me because i am on the right path of course he's going most likely going to be answering me because i am his, i'm his child he wouldn't dare not listen to his child but I feel like sometimes we use these the righteous people to to protect them or whatever like like that. But I feel like to protect them and stuff. But I feel like this is what I feel like. I'm not even joking. But I feel like I'm not even wrong about this. I feel like it gets to a point where God will stop. God won't answer the prayer that you ask somebody to pray about for you because maybe it's the lord that wants you wants you to go up to him and pray for yourself what he wants your attention he don't want you to go to somebody else who works for him no he wants you yourself to go onto him and 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 pray whatever you need he all he wants is you he he wants your attention let's say if i I'm out in the world and I have a um, I have an older brother or whatever and he's all about God. That's all he loves or whatever. And and uh you know, I need something and and so um I go to him and ask him for whatever I need, like as far as let's just say protection. If I need if I need protection, like I need the Lord to protect me while I'm doing a thing. I'm I'm gonna ask my brother to, you know, help me out or whatever. But it gets to a point where God's not going to continue to answer these prayers of you being out so world so worldly because it's like sometimes the the Lord tries to get you no he knows how to get your attention but I'm just saying like he will let you suffer until you go look higher until you look up higher sometimes the Lord wants those people who are doing the wrong and know they're doing the wrong but still goes to the the righteous people of God to get prayer on maybe it's it's God who wants who says it's time for you to pray for yourself time for you to have a long time with me because it's not gonna always it's not always gonna be good that we it's not good for you to keep going to godly people know you need to go to God because at the end of the day we're workers of him so why not go to him that's what I've been holding for the very long. I'd be like, I'd be like, this is just not cool. I don't like the fact that people that know they're doing wrong and they literally will tell you they're doing it wrong. They doing wrong. They know what the Lord requires and this type of the third, but they want you to pray. 
want you to pray. No, maybe he wants you. Maybe it's time for you to pray. Maybe it's time for you to talk to the Lord and get things straight with you and him. Because at the end of the day, we're in our last days. And up, us righteous people, our prayer can't get you into heaven. It's your lifestyle that you have on your life. It's your lifestyle that gets you into heaven. All we can do is pray and and um ask and if uh all we can do is pray and ask the Lord if He'll keep you all protected while y'all doing whatever y'all want to do and knowing that it's not of God, knowing what God wants you to do. Some that's why I feel like that's so important because we know that was just an issue earlier, and you know some people didn't want me to know. People, the people didn't want me to know, but I'm just like, why can I not know? This situation, if I have a prayer life, if I have God on my side, would not be most likely to help. Like, you know what I'm saying? I can ask God to protect this that's happening third. Like, you know what I'm saying? But then I was just thinking, like, because I, because then somebody had said, Yeah, you're right. Go ahead and pray. Go ahead and pray to the Father. And I said, and I was just explaining what is, I was just explaining everything. I said, I said, it's important that we. That's why it's important for us to have a clean life and righteous life with God. Because without Him, things gonna get hectic. And what you gonna do whenever things just get out too out of hand to where people die? I mean, they not even gonna. And then the fact that this person was saying that they was gonna smack somebody or they was gonna go to the house and get some protection or something like that. No, I'm like, no, what are y'all talking about? The protection is up there. You got to look higher. And they kept getting mad. Well, she kept, well, the person kept getting mad that I kept, that I was saying you got to look higher. But no, it's true. You got to look higher. You got to let these people know. They was just saying that when we get up here, I better not say nothing about, um, no looking higher and under that but i'm just like it's true and it's if those were it's telling me to say it i'm gonna say it because at the end of the day if i don't say nothing that's gonna be on me because i should have said something about it so i'm just like let me calm down I was just like, it's important for me to tell these people the truth. I have to let them know that it's time for you to get your life right with Christ. Because if you don't get your life right with Christ, when things happen, when bad things happen, I mean, yes, God, some, yes, he will protect. He does. But when you, it's, when it gets to the point where you have, you have waited too long you have you have just ignored god too long to the point where your life is gone and then because your life is gone there's nothing we can do about it but it's just the fact that when too many people's life is gone the other people just think it's it's just like they just they take it on other people but that's not the case the case is that you supposed to you supposed to get your life right first of all you're supposed to get your life right with the father that's all what it boils down to like quit using us christians as true christians for our prayer life when it could be god that wants you to communicate with him because i feel like sometimes it's not our prayer our prayers do work but sometimes our prayers is not going to work because the Lord is trying to get you to pray. He's trying to get your attention to, you know, look higher and talk higher. I just feel like at times you just got to learn how to stop you, especially when you you plan about a thing. You don't pray. You don't play about praying because you Christian so holy. Oh, yeah, you can pray. You can pray. No, that's not how it goes. This is how it goes. It goes if it's on my heart. To pray about thing, I will pray. But when you get to praying about it, I'm not gonna pray. Um, about that very thing, telling me to pray, I'm probably gonna pray for you. And and the things that I need to pray about, that's that's just, you know, what I need to pray about. But like, it's it's getting to the point where we have to pray for our own selves, especially if we've been on the other side. We haven't been. We we've been on the wicked side. The the place of the side of the devil. 
We know that we got to get it. We know. We know what we what's required, but we stay talking how we talk. Gossip how we gossip. Cheat how we cheat. Smoke like we smoke. Drink like we drink. Argue like we argue. Fight like we fight. Like, come on now. If you keep doing this, time is going to run out. Because I feel like that's the whole reasoning. I feel like the Lord uses his people on earth for a reason. We're not here just to say something for, to get ignored. No, we're here to let you guys know what's going on. We're here to help those who need to be helped. We're here to get though to warn these people that have fallen away from the Lord and needs to get back on track with the Lord because time's running out and we already know we're in our last days. Yes, but I just get to the point where we got to stop using other people for our prayer life and pray for our own selves. Get ourselves right with God. You know, because I guess I feel like it gets to the point where the Lord will just shut you down like that. Like, even if you're in the wicked, you out there doing whatever, you don't refuse to turn from, like, turn back to God. And then it's just like, okay, I'm letting you go. I'm letting you go. This, that's happening third because you was doing whatever. And you knew better the whole entire time. I just don't like the fact that I just don't like the fact that we I have to be used for my prayer. Whenever you, they don't even like the the fact that I come and give them the word or give them something that they refuse to take from the Lord. I won't I don't like, you know, I love you and all and I will pray, but when you tell me to pray in a certain type of way. I'm not going to do that because it's just not, it's not good. Like, sometimes you got to learn how to pray for your own self. Especially when you know, you know better, but you won't do better. And that's what I had to say real quick. Because that's what I had on my, on my little heart for... It was kind of dragging me down a little bit because I was holding it in too long. But it's facts, and I'm here to tell whoever, to let, let whoever know that it's it's uh, it's time for you to turn to God because it's it's time. People been telling you for the longest, but you've been ignoring, and, and time is ready to be up, and it's important that we all get it together. In Jesus' name. Amen. I love y'all and I thank y'all and I will be back later on. Maybe like, I don't know. I'll just be back soon to give part two of um, who is your manager. All right. I love you guys. Talk to you later.